Hi fans, thanks for calling the, and checking in, clicking the dreaded D-Rose report. Uh, back like a dirty shirt. Oh, by the way, this isn't a dirty shirt. This is a, I've got a bunch of these things the wife bought me, and uh, I wear them underneath regular shirts and stuff. Uh, not in the summer, but uh, they're changed. I think this one is. I'm not sure. Hey, um, I had a couple of callers um, uh, on the info line, which is... Um, 317 um, 335. I gotta look at the phone. Uh, 335 4688. If you ever want to call it, uh, there's three options on there. Anyway, uh, one of the callers on there wanted to know if there was anybody in WWE wrestling now, you know, the current wrestlers that could, let's say, take and run with a streak or a title or uh, something to WrestleMania like The Undertaker. Is there anybody even close to being an Undertaker type status? Uh, now, you could always say, no, there's nobody. You know, but there's got to be somebody just just barely there. You know, that could run with a streaker. You know, do something like that. We'll get your opinion on that. <clears throat> and then there was another caller, uh, CJ. He wanted to know... Um, about Ziggler's belt expiring at WrestleMania. Now, as far as I know, it's a year that he has to use it up in, which they've never said anything about that lately. But it was always had to, has to go for a year. And I would suspect it would be uh, it would expire after WrestleMania because, you know, uh, well, he won the belt during WrestleMania, so I don't know if you'd have to look at the time on the clock, you know, to see what time he won it or just... Midnight. And uh, <clears throat> one of the other callers, Gary, he seems to think that uh, there's going to be a heel turn, he thinks, involved with uh, Ziggler at uh, WrestleMania. And maybe that'll send Vicky on her way to somebody else. She's not been doing much with him anyway lately. Uh, recent months, WWE rolled out new features for you guys got smartphones where fans can purchase and stream pay-per-view events on mobile devices through the WWE app. Uh, anyway, for WrestleMania 29, fans are going to be able to purchase and stream the event on Samsung Internet-enabled TVs as well as Xbox Live. Uh, WWE is currently mapping out the onslaught of superstars that are going all over uh, uh, New York City. It's going to be taking place you know, in a couple of weeks of uh, WrestleMania, so uh, they've got them on. They'll be on a lot of TV shows. I think The Rock is on uh, tonight on Jay Leno. And as noted before, uh, how Vince has been more hands-on, I guess, backstage at Raw with uh, Eric, Pent uh, Eric Pentowski gone. Uh, Vince is said to be uh, really on his game in the past two weeks and described as being like the old Vince, revitalized and healthy. Uh, also noted before, WWE is going to be hiring a new vice president of Kids Entertainment, and they want someone to work uh, who has worked in children's programming for at least 10 years and is uh, into pop culture and trends, which is hard to do unless you're a kid. Man, that stuff changes all the time. And WWE's planning a, uh, a specific initiative to gear up to promote their product harder with kids and family. Uh, specifically, they're looking uh, at new ideas, initiatives to make the WWE brand stronger with uh, mothers and their children. <clears throat> you know, it's all well and good. Don't intermingle, <clears throat> really, the, the WWE wrestling that we all watch. You know, dumb it down for kids and whatever. Because we don't go and watch Saturday morning cartoons. We just, at least I don't. You know, it's more kids oriented. Get another offshoot. Get another brand, an NXT type thing for kids on Saturday. Have their own... Uh, uh, little federation where they, you know, they got those shows they can watch and leave us alone. I don't take kids to see adult movies. I don't want the kids to take me to see the cartoons. Oh, uh, Martha Hart's lawsuit against the WWE for using the Owen Hart's name and likeness as well as personal photos of the Hart's family in Hart and Soul WWE's uh, DVD. Uh, will go on trial in June unless a settlement is made. Now, she held off on things for a while. Now they put something out, and they're going to be putting something out. And, uh, now she wants her slice of it. 
which they would probably offer to her anyway. She wasn't such a... Anyway, as uh, noted before, um, UFC fighter uh, Chanel Sonnet blasted Vince McMahon on uh, Twitter regarding a proposed fight against UFC President Dana White. Uh, Sonnet and Kenny uh, Florin uh, discussed Vince versus Dana on last night's episode, I guess, of USC uh, Tonight on Fuel. Uh, anyway, there's been discussions about turning Kofi Kingston, by the way, uh, heel, with the idea he's talented but uh, has been booked in a way where uh, they will never be able to get him over as a uh, babyface without doing a uh, you know heel turn and a big push first. And a new change in WWE developmental, giving talent the bullet points instead of uh, scripts and using them to do promos uh, like they used, you know, like, like they uh, used to be done. So they just got the bullet points, you go with the subject, and then you run with it. And hopefully you're smart enough to carry the promo. Uh, and it's also noted that Triple H is uh, far more old school in his thoughts on pro wrestling than even Vince McMahon. And uh, when he's in full control, we will likely see storylines evolving back to more believable and serious approach. Uh, a lot of people will expect Bruno San Martino to appear on Monday's uh, Raw from Pittsburgh, but he wasn't even backstage. Uh, WWE made a decision for Bruno not to appear at WWE TV until WrestleMania weekend. Uh, they also didn't want him backstage, you know, any photos and talent. They want to keep him under wraps until, boom, get us all a bunch of... Uh, uh, the Hall of Fame. See what he looks like. See what he's got to say. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. Try it again. Hey, uh, Sin Cara, he missed last weekend's show, Dan, the WWE Live events, because he's suffering a concussion. Likely it's from the March 11th show, if you remember, against Jack Swagger. Uh, Sin Cara was evaluated uh, March 18th and underwent impact in concussion testing. Whatever they, that might be. And Sakara didn't work Tuesday's SmackDown taping, and that could change, be a sign that uh, he wasn't cleared to wrestle. Hope not. Uh, I mean, I hope he don't have the concussion. Uh, even with WrestleMania 29 doesn't match the record set in 2007, the event comes with, uh, even with WrestleMania 28. It'd be all right. It will most likely uh, set a new mark with overall pay-per-view revenues because the price is going up, I think. With the increase in the price of WWE's WrestleMania by five dollars, will also uh, so it will be fifty nine ninety nine fifty nine ninety five I guess for standard definition and sixty nine ninety five for high definition this year. And if the price increase doesn't turn uh, buyers away, this will lead to a three million dollar extra revenue based on two point two million one point two million uh, worldwide buys. Uh, not including the uh, increase in viewership uh, who have moved to HD. And based on uh, changes in annual trends, viewers moving to HD could uh, add uh, another 900000 in profit. Have you ever wondered why they um, charge you extra for HD when it's the same signal coming in, it's just a little bit more information? That's all. That's silly. So rip off... The gas, well, I ain't getting into the gas. Anyway, no holds barred stipulation for um, Brock Lesnar and Triple H at WrestleMania 29 was decided just a few days before WrestleMania as several stipulations, including Hell in a Cell, was being considered. One idea discussed with having Shawn Michaels be in uh, Triple H's corner to counteract Paul Heyman being in the other corner. Uh, Mark Henry, he tweeted uh, to hype his WrestleMania 29 against Ryback. He says, I saw, or uh, Ry Ryback, I saw your tweet. You're beating me as uh, taking food from my kids. I will end anyone trying to uh, take what I got. Uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, WrestleMania, uh, just regular attendance figures for uh, WWE in Bridgeport, Connecticut on uh, March 15th. It was a sellout of 7,700 fans for about 280,000 gate. Providence, Rhode Island did 10,500, 630,000 gate. And uh, Hammond, Indiana drew about uh, 4,500 fans, 150,000 gate on the uh, 16th. Uh, 17th, um, Binghamton drew, let's see, 5,200 5, fans, 200,000 gate. 
March 17th, Toledo, Ohio, 4,800, 400, uh, or 140,000. Quinn Anakia, I think that's his name, who is six foot five, 295 offensive guard, uh, who has played since in the NFL since 2006, is going to be attending next uh, WWE developmental camp in Tampa. Uh, he attended a camp, I guess, a few months back and wasn't signed to a deal, but he was asked to come back. He played uh, for the Atlanta Falcons, the New England Patriots, uh, and most recently, St. Louis Rams for a few weeks last season before being released. He uh, has been in training for pro wrestling under former WWE and WCW star member Mr. Huge. Huge? It's hard to say. Huge. Anyway, WWE will tape more episodes of NXT at the Full Sail University tonight. Oh, what else have I got? WWE reportedly signed a mini wrestler from Mexico to the developmental deal. Whatever happened to Hornswoggle? Come to think of it. Former uh, TNA knockout, rem remember uh, Hamada? She recently returned to uh, action in Mexico and reportedly expressed interest in joining WWE during a media interview. Uh, WWE revealed on Wednesday that The Miz is going to be hosting their Money in the Bank anthology DVD that's set to be released in sometime in October. Uh, reminder, by the right way, The Rock is on Jay Leno tonight. Sure to get that channel. Top Rope Wrestling announced Jake the Snake's Roberts uh, farewell tour to kick off April 18th at night of, of Superstars show in Waynesboro uh, High School, Waynesboro, Virginia. Jake will be meeting and greeting fans 6 to 8 o'clock. And Top Rope says he will be, uh, once again, step inside the squared circle, but not confirm uh, whether he's actually going to wrestle. He's just going to get between the ropes and maybe get in there. And speaking of, uh, well, I mentioned this uh, yesterday, I believe. Noted that Maria Canales, she was considered at one point to uh, work a multi-diva match at WrestleMania 29 with uh, other former divas, but that in F4W Online reports that uh, it appears that Canales has some uh, enemies within WWE because the word got out of some of the current divas, and they got Maria... Uh, Return they got her return next. No, no show. But speaking of Maria Canales, she went on Twitter and denied reports that she's going to be inducting Bob Backlund into the Hall of Fame. The original report was wrong. It was supposed to be Maria Munoz inducting Bob Backlund, which uh, actually rumored weeks ago. Munoz and Backlund are friends, by the way. Uh, Tyson, not done. Hang on. Tyson Kidd on Twitter, he uh, beginning to show some uh, jumping exercises that's physical therapy going, and added that uh, D1 Sports is uh, rebuilding him better than ever. And one of the biggest issues in WWE facing WrestleMania 29 is how to set up access in, uh, inside the Izod Center. Uh, there will be far less open air space for the event this year because it's uh, inside the arena. And uh, our, uh, Russell, uh, hang on. About there, Triple H hyped the WrestleMania match between him and Brock by posting the following on late night uh, last night on Twitter. He said, "Midnight two day workout, no holes barred." Anyway, WWE's uh, published a "Where Are They Now?" piece on Harvey Whippleman. We've been wondering where he is all this time, and now we're going to find out. But it's published somewhere, I guess, on their uh, website. Hey, thanks for clicking, you guys, and hanging around with me. I gotta go.